That's what I see adversity as. That you understand that you really have no limitation. It strengthens us. The scar tissue, it the makes us tough to where now we're able to go against anything that wants to make me back down. If I done been through poverty, I done been through homelessness, so then what is this challenge going to do to me? Nothing is going to make me retreat. Nothing is going to make me surrender. Nothing is going to make me give up because I've already been tried and tested and I made it through all of that. So nothing is going to stop me. That's what adversity does. So we have to stop looking at adversity as something that makes us hold our head down or something that makes us feel shame. It is something that strengthens us. I learned through track that I did have control over my life. The effort that I put into things gave me the results that I would get. The harder I worked at something, the better the results would be. And so I took the pen and started to write my own story. I would no longer feel like a victim in this world to where other people dictate what I can be and what I can do. I knew that it was under my control and whatever I wanted to write is my next chapter would be. So don't give up, don't lose hope. Don't feel like what you're experiencing right now is the end all be all. This is just a glimpse. This is just a starting point for what's gonna make you who you're supposed to be. Think about this, if Oprah never went through what she went through, do you think she would still be the person she is? The things that we experience make us who we are. So me having gone through pain, my entire life's work has been keeping other people from experiencing that same kind of pain. We've all gone through similar things and the way that we respond to those things dictate our future because they allow somebody else to convince them to do certain things rather than following their heart. So no matter what you've been raised up in, you can always get out of that. That don't have to be your future just because somebody in your family is experiencing that.